basically it's a gorgeous George. It's a slight variant, just there's certain wee things different, but it's still the same ply. It's, a, it's off the gorgeous George. Uh, originally, the original ply was tied by a guy called Paul Cantillon, if I pronounced his second name correct. But basically, you'll find the dressing in this book here. If I pan out, I'll let you see it. It's Irish Mayflies, Fly Fisher's Guide, and it's by Patsy Deary. You'll find it at the back by, uh, by Paul. And there's, there's the original dressing there. Now, certainly worth having. That's your fly there. I'm going to use a Camasan B175 size 10. It's a good strong hook. Nice and tight. I'll level it up a wee bit. That's better. I put down a layer of thread. Now I'm using a uh, Uni 80 Fire Orange. So it's a thin thread, you need it really, because there's quite a bit of dressing in this fly, especially towards the head. And if you put too much on, you're going to struggle. Or too heavy a thread anyway. Now, what I'm going to use here is a Golden Peasant Head, or Crest, Dyed, Chartreuse. Goes a nice greeny colour when it's in the water. Down the top, length, the tail, basically it should be round about the length of the hook. That's okay at that. Trim it the full length of the body. And trim it down there. You end up with a lump and a bump. Now the rib, the rib's going to be a, a small, uh, towards the medium, oval gold tinsel. And basically I'm going to tie the tail in and the rib just now. Touch and turns, or close touch and turns, run it up. You don't have to be too fussy. Uh, this body, there's going to be a body of seals fur in this and it's amazing what seals fur can do. It can hide a lot of lumps and bumps as they say. Now the seals fur I'm using is a, a nice honey olive. This one here. Uh, great colour. Just slightly... Just double onto the thread. Nice and easy. I blend my seals for meaning I air them out using a coffee grinder, a crops coffee grinder. It makes it easier if they're all messed up. It's easier to dub. Now don't worry about seeing the orange through the, the seals for. Once this flag gets wet you're gonna see that. Why I'm using it as well. Wind it all the way up, form your body. Leave at least two to three mil at the top. Now the body hackle, in the traditional one, should be at least two hackles down the body. Now this is a light ginger. Basically, it's a natural yellow. That's what I call it. And it's off a saddle. I met saddle grade two. What I'm looking to do here is put at least three turns at this point here and then take the hackle down all the way to this point here. Going across your rib, this, this will hold the hackle down for you. There's no way that hackle will pull out. It's the best way to protect that body hackle. Then all we have to do, just before we bring up the last turn, stroke back the fibres. Bring a thread in, catch it down. Nice and tight. Trim away the waist, tidy up. Now I'm going to use a nice soft tackle at the front of this. And this here is just a, a sunburst dyed grizzle, but it's a, like a cheap Chinese. I mean, excellent hackles there. Take one off. If you want the hackle fibre length to be Obviously longer than the body hackle. Now we tie this in by the tip. Just fold it back. Two or three turns ties it down and then fold back the tip. Keep a hold of the thread nice and tight and break this off. Got to hold the, t uh, the thread tight if you're doing that. Because if you don't, it will cause the tons of thread you've tied in to come loose. It's basically three 
the four turns with the hen hackle, cross your thread, trim away your waist, tied up. Okay. Now there's legs goes on this, and this is already knotted for me, pheasant tail. You can buy them like this, it saves a bit of time. Now I'm putting on about six. Now you can either put them under, underneath or you can slightly roll them round the shank. It's up to you what you want to do. It. See how they're sitting. If you're happy with it, just trim away the waist. Watch your thread. You can all cut the thread. And tidy up. Now, when the original, uh, it's dyed orange, skinny fill. Now I'm just going to use some. This is dyed. This is teal, dyed, nice hot orange. A few fibers, just to form a throw it. And pressure the throw it. There you go. What's the length of the hackle? The hen hackle that you put on, fiber length. Just tie it on the side, just see how it looks. It's fine, trim away the waist. Now you need the tips of the scissors to be really sharp because you've got to get in there, trim that away. Again, like to tidy up. Now I'm using, in this case, this is a bigger jungle cock eye. I'm just, as you can see, it's actually split, which you do get a lot of split eyes, and they're ideal for tying these flies, you can get one each side. Now all I've done is cut it a wee bit further down and I'm going to lay it on the top and I'm going to tie it on to the black area. It's much softer and easier to do that. Don't tie it on the glossy part. Tie it on that nice soft black area. Much like a kind of fine velvet and it ties in extremely easy. Trim away the waist. Tidy up. Build the thread up from the front and work it up. Get a nice shape into the head. Once you're happy, keep the thread tight. Straight in the wet finish. See how it's looking? That's fine. Now all you have to do now is varnish it. Now I use a brush to varnish it. Now this brush I've actually shortened and it's only about maybe a third of the thick thickness of originally was trimmed away so it makes it easier to apply the varnish and there you go that's a variation of Paul's gorgeous George certainly worth having in your box mm -hmm.